Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you guys how to handle file uploads. So what I want to do is instead of making the user go through the entire internet and find the proper album logo cover picture and then copy the URL and paste it in, what I want to do is I just want to have them click a button, browse their computer for the image and upload it to our server. Pretty much how you add any image to a website, like you're just like uploading a picture to Facebook or whatever. So before we get started, what I want you guys to do is go in your admin panel and delete all of your albums and also all your songs. And the reason for that is because we're actually gonna change the entire structure of our database. So we're only gonna be making a minor change, but if all the old albums have this and all the new ones have a file field, then it's gonna be confusing. So just go ahead and delete all your albums and you'll be good. So after that, instead of this field being a character field, which essentially just means text, what you need to make it is a file field. Pretty cool. So now that we actually change the structure of our database, we need to pop open our terminal. And you remember the two commands that you use? That's Python manage.py make migrations music and Python manage.py migrate. There you go. Now I actually have these changes already, but if you don't, then go ahead and make them and restart your server. And the reason that I have those already is because I was actually filming this tutorial and then I noticed that, I don't know, for like the last two months, a bunch of water has been coming through my basement and I didn't really think anything of it because the snow's kind of melting and my ground is always damp around here. So I'm like, whatever. But it's been really annoying me, this sound in the background. So I walked outside and I saw that the water spigot was on, my outside spigot. So water has just been running outside <laughs> onto the ground for the last two months. So yeah, I can't wait to get my uh, water bill. That should be fun. All right, where was I? Go ahead and restart your server after you just did that. And now, actually, if you go to admin, and go to albums and just click add album you can see that you now have a choose file button instead of the just these inputs right here so that is proper pop open our code again all right so before we can just add this form to a web page so the user can upload files we need to specify a couple things most importantly whenever the user uploads an image where the heck are we going to store it so where do we specify that? Well, in your music, or excuse me, website directory, go ahead and click settings and scroll all the way to the bottom right here. Now we actually need to add two global variables. The first one is media root. And what this is, is just the file path of the directory that we're gonna put all of the files in. So this is actually os.path.join. And we actually want to join this base directory right here. And this just resembles whatever directory this is. So we're going to take that and we're going to join it with another one called media. Now, the last one that you need to write is basically this. But instead of static URL, you just name it media URL. And of course, instead of static, you write media right there. So essentially, whenever the user uploads an image is going to create a new directory and it's going to name it media and you're essentially going to have three files or three directories website music and media and all of their files are going to go in media and if you guys are wondering all right why do you need both of these well this one is the actual directory on your computer that's going to store those files and this one actually references the relative url and this is what your browsers use for accessing the files over http so this is just for kind of your server and this is for users in the browsers. So after this, what we need to do is we need to hop over to website URLs. Again, this isn't music URLs, it's website URLs. And we need to do a couple things. The first thing we need to do is specifically import these settings because we tweak some things on it. So I'll just say from Django Conf, import settings and also from Django conf URL static 
we want to import static. All right. So what we're basically saying is, hey, whenever we're just testing this out, go ahead and just use this URL to store all the files in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make an if statement and write settings dot debug in debug mode. Whenever this is true, it pretty much means development mode. So if you look at your settings, let me look. All right. So it says, all right, right now you are making this program in debug mode. And this is good. That helps us find all the bugs and whatnot. But whenever we actually put this on a live server, we actually want to change this to false, which means production mode and not developer mode. So whenever your website is in actual production mode, you probably don't want to store all the images in the same directory right here. Whenever your website's really big, you actually store all of your media on another server or somewhere else on your own server. But anyways, we're just saying, all right, whenever we're just in developer mode, just go ahead and use the URL we just told you to. So in order to do that, we're actually just going to append the items right here. Because if we just stuck them in there, they're going to be there all the time. So plus equals static. And again, those are settings. And I'll do the static URL first. So static URL document. Why aren't you popping up document root equals settings static URL. And now we can just do the same thing for that media URL static media URL. All right. So again, this just pretty much says, all right, whenever we're in developer mode, just use these and we can change it later in production, but there you go. So from here, we have one tiny, tiny, tiny change that we have to make. Let me close out all these. All right. So that is what one do I want to do first? I'll hop over to our homepage and let me look at where the album logo is. So basically wherever you had your picture before and mine was just right here right now, this isn't just a piece of text anymore. It's actually an image object since remember, those character fields, let me pop this open. So basically character fields are just a little bit of text, but right now we are referencing the image object. So we actually don't want to do that because that's the actual like byte data itself. What we want to do is we want to take that image object and we actually want to refer to its URL. This is going to give us the file path of wherever that image is stored. So now we can use that file path in because of course your image source needs to be a file path and not just a bunch of byte data. And where else did we have that album logo on the details page? So left, right, I think it was in left. All right, right here again, this is just the URL of the file, wherever it is stored on your server. So that's all you need to do. So now whenever you refresh, Add album, check it out. I can just name the artist uh, baloney. I am pretty sure that is not how you spell baloney, but whatever. And the album title is cheese sandwiches. And you have to spell it just like that, or it's not going to work. And the genre is, would you say, rap? This is, of course, a rap album. And let me just pick a photo. So, how about this one? Food boom roasted. So now I'm going to submit that and we are getting a bad file path and I actually already know what I did wrong. So in website and the URL is this actually needs to be yep, root. To reference the wrong thing. I am so embarrassed. So hopefully now whenever you refresh. All right, so check that out. So there you go. And of course, this works. And if you want to verify, hop over to your main page and let me zoom out so you guys can see. All right. So there you go. So that is how you let users upload files. And one other thing I want to point out, look how it generated this media directory right here. So all of your user uploaded files are going to go right in there. Look how beautiful those cheeseburgers are. Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry now. So again, pretty simple, just a few files to change and boom roasted, users can now upload files.